Hey guys, Otto from Everything Amiibo here, and today we're going to be talking about the rumor of Splatoon Amiibo. Hello and welcome to Everything Amiibo. Alright, so yesterday a South African retailer um, put up these listings right here for a Greninja Amiibo, a Jigglypuff Amiibo, a Splatoon Boy Amiibo, a Splatoon Girl Amiibo, all of them for the 29th of May 2015, of course. Um, and this caused quite a stir. Now, to start off, um, this was the only retailer that put this up. There's been no other confirmation at all anywhere else. Um, there's also, in its favor, it is apparently a trusted um, supplied by Nintendo retailer so should have a little bit of you know leverage on if it's true or not um, but yeah so let's start off with the Smash Bros amiibo because they're a little easier to figure out um, 29th of May makes absolute sense they've been having uh, a wave of amiibo out almost well every month since January so they have a January February March April and they've gotten they've got an April one coming so why not have a May one and a June one it it makes sense and I think the dates have been getting later and later so the 29th makes sense they're always around the 20 something so that's good um, of course Amoeba, uh, Greninja and Jigglypuff will be released at some point anyway so all of this is perfectly credible but we all know that uh, Smash Bros Amiibo come in waves of you know like six or eight or quite a lot not two so there's a slight possibility that these Splatoon Amiibo are part of the Smash Bros. wave. But they're not. Uh, that's just a little, like, that's not going to happen. Anyway, um, but yeah. So it's a bit suspicious when there's only these two. You'd think if they got this insider information, they know the rest of the Amiibo that were coming for the wave. And it's definitely not just going to be two Amiibo, two rather lackluster Amiibo for one wave. That would just be weird. So let's um, move on to the Splatoon amiibo so of course there's a girl one and a boy one and it was actually recently revealed because I think up until recently I at least thought I don't know about you guys but I thought there were only girls in it they did say in the in the E3 demo I'm pretty sure it's like 100% girls but um, I thought the idea was you just played as girls all the time but apparently there's boys and girls so the fact that they've got a boy and a girl on here supports that they know what they're talking about, uh, at least. And that would make perfect sense to have a boy and a girl Splatoon amiibo because they're nondescript, customizable characters. So you can't really have girl number one, girl number two, Lindsay, Tom, because they're just customizable characters. They're player characters. So girl and boy makes perfect sense because it's the two t styles of customizable characters that you have in the game and they are also for the 29th of May which again highly suspicious considering they probably won't be part of the Smash Bros lineup uh, this here is just a little um, uh, just a reddit post of somebody who saw this listing because I didn't actually see this listing here uh, it was a, a picture that somebody copied so I can't be sure if it was actually there but this guy saw it on the when it was actually up um, but yeah Greninja Jigglypuff, Splatoon Boy, Splatoon Girl and apparently Splatoon plus Amiibo Squid oh so a bundle so yes there's apparently a bundle coming out as well all of them still do on the 29th of May now if you go to this website right here um, it's all been removed all of it all that's left is the normal like amiibo stuff there's no Greninja Jigglypuff or anything Splatoon on there which of course is always highly suspicious that it's fake but it also could mean that Nintendo contacted them and told them not to give away their release dates who knows yeah all in all very interesting and I most definitely would buy Splatoon amiibo I'm really excited for this game some people don't like it but generally there's a lot of hype behind it and I am totally behind it I'm so excited because Nintendo has not made a uh, competitive, not like meta, I just mean competitive, like people on people, upgrade your gear, shooter game, ever. And I want that. It's, I don't care if people are, oh, but Mario and Pokemon's all I want. No, you have to admit, if you're a teenager, COD is fun. 
okay? <laughs> shooting games are fun, um, and I want a shooting game that has that Nintendo touch to it, and this is hopefully it, so I can't wait for Splatoon. It's going to be awesome. But anyway, uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Is this fake? Is it is it real? Uh, did Nintendo remove it because it's, you know, they're giving away release dates? Is some of it real? Some of it could be. Um, there certainly will be a, a Jigglypuff and Greninja amiibo. So if you enjoyed that video or you found it informative, please, please, please give it a like and subscribe to Everything Amiibo for more Amiibo news. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. If they got this insider information, they know the rest of the amiibo that were coming for the wave, and it's definitely not just going to be two amiibo, two rather lackluster amiibo for one wave. That would just be weird. So let's um, move on to the Splatoon amiibo. So, of course, there's a girl one and a boy one, and it was actually recently revealed because I think up until recently, I at least thought, I don't know about you guys, but I thought there were only girls in it. They did say in the in the E3 demo, I'm pretty sure it's like 100% girls, but um, I thought the idea was you just played as girls all the time, but apparently there's boys and girls. So the fact that they've got a boy and a girl on here supports that they know what they're talking about, uh, at least, and that would make perfect sense to have a boy and a girl Splatoon amiibo because they're nondescript customizable characters so you can't really have girl number one girl number two Lindsay Tom because they're just customizable easier to figure out um, 29th of May makes absolute sense they've been having uh, a wave of amiibo out almost well every month since January so they have a January February March April and they've gotten they've got an April one coming so why not have a May one and a June one it, it, it makes sense and I think the dates have been getting later and later so the 29th makes sense. They're always around the 20-something, so that's good. Um, of course, Amoeba, uh, Greninja, and Jigglypuff will be released at some point anyway. So all of this is perfectly credible. But we all know that uh, Smash Bros. Amiibo come in waves of, you know, like six or eight or quite a lot. Not two. So there's a slight possibility that these Splatoon Amiibo are part of the Smash Bros. wave. But they're not. Uh, that's just a little, like, that's not going to happen. Anyway, um, but yeah. So, it's a bit suspicious when there's only these two characters. They're player characters. So, girl and boy makes perfect sense because it's the two t styles of customizable characters that you have in the game. And they are also for the 29th of May, which, again, highly suspicious considering they probably won't be part of the Smash Bros. lineup. Uh, this here is just a little, um, uh, just a Reddit post of somebody who saw this listing, because I didn't actually see this listing here. Uh, it was a, a picture that somebody copied, so I can't be sure if it was actually there. But this guy saw it on the, when it was actually up. Um, but yeah, Greninja Jigglypuff, Splatoon Boy, Splatoon Girl, and apparently Splatoon Plus Amiibo Squid. Oh, so a bundle. So yes, there's apparently a bundle coming out as well. All of them still do on the 29th of May. Now, if you go to this website right here, um, it's all been removed. All of it. All that's left is the normal, like, Amiibo stuff. There's no Greninja, Jigglypuff, or anything Splatoon on there. Which, of course, is always highly suspicious that it's fake. But it also could mean that Nintendo contacted them and told them not to give away their release dates. Who knows? Yeah, all in all, very interesting. And I most definitely would buy Splatoon Amiibo. I'm really excited for this game. Some people don't like it, but generally there's a lot of hype behind it, and I am totally behind it. I am so excited because Nintendo has not made a uh, competitive, not like meta, I just mean competitive, like people on people, upgrade your gear, shooter game, ever. And I want that. It's, I don't care if people are, oh, but. Mario and Pokemon's all I want. No, you have to admit, if you're a teenager, COD is fun, okay? <laughs> shooting games are fun. Um, and I want a shooting game that has that Nintendo touch to it. And this is hopefully it. So I can't wait for Splatoon. It's going to be awesome. But anyway, uh, let me know in the comments below. What 
Hey guys, Otto from Everything Amiibo here, and today we're going to be talking about the rumor of Splatoon Amiibo. Hello and welcome to Everything Amiibo. Alright, so yesterday a South African retailer um, put up these listings right here for a Greninja Amiibo, a Jigglypuff Amiibo, a Splatoon Boy Amiibo, a Splatoon Girl Amiibo, all of them for the 29th of May 2015, of course. Um, and this caused quite a stir. Now, to start off, um, this was the only retailer that put this up. There's been no other confirmation at all anywhere else. Um, there's also, in its favor, it is apparently a trusted um, supplied by a Nintendo retailer, so should have a little bit of, you know, leverage on if it's true or not. Um, but yeah, so let's start off with the Smash Bros. Amiibo because they're a little.